Okay guys, so I hope that gave you some awesome ideas on how you can increase your protein intake and still eat really delicious filling meals and not feel like you're restricting yourself at all. Um, because again, I you just should not be restricting yourself. You gotta eat the food that you like and still be able to reach your goals. So what I want to talk about now are the five reasons that I think protein is super important. And I'm going to leave information below on resources that um, I have found information on or I've just sought out to give you some extra information because I don't like just saying things. I like to have some sort of backing behind what I say. Um, but also this is my experience too. And always, you know, speak to a doctor and to get, you know, medical advice. This is just my experience and things that I have learned over the years of you know my education you know through doing my vocational training through doing my college um, studies through my personal experience and my personal research so let's get into the five roles that protein play in your body and why it's so important to make sure you are getting enough i've got my notes in my back pocket the first reason protein is really important is because it preserves muscle tissue and other tissues in your body. So especially when you're on a weight loss journey and you are in a caloric deficit, your body is still going to be looking for that fuel. And so instead of it breaking down the skeletal muscle, which it may still get you a little bit of that, by increasing the amount of protein that you're taking, you're actually giving your body more of that protein to use so it does not break down your skeletal muscle. And also, um, the proteins, like there are three main proteins in your body, keratin, collagen, and elastin. So the keratin is for your hair, skin, and nails. Collagen is also for skin, muscles, arteries, um, linings of your intestines and other uh, bodily structures. And then also the elastin makes up also your skin and your muscles. This allows you to um, contract your muscle and allows your skin to stretch and come back your arteries to stretch and come back so your body is just made up of a lot of these proteins that are required so you want to make sure you're getting enough of that protein to preserve your muscle tissue and to preserve the other tissues that are necessary just for normal function in your body now the second reason you really want to make sure you're getting the right amount of protein for you is because it is satiating so um it does take longer for your body to break down protein and so therefore it keeps you um, fuller longer because it takes your body longer time to break it down so it makes you just feel more full but at the same time it also suppresses your hunger hormone ghrelin so you know it's a twofold it actually keeps you more full because it takes longer for your body to break it down and it also is shutting off that hunger hormone so it's actually making you less hungry by having the extra protein or at least an optimal optimal amount of protein i'm not saying you should have like 200 grams of protein a day but you're probably should be getting more than what you are getting right now which leads into the third reason you really want to make sure you're getting enough protein is because of hormones now there are many hormones that are proteins and the role of a hormone is a messenger so it talks between cells. So for instance, um, insulin is a hormone that's made of protein and its job is to take blood out of the bloodstream and put it into the cell. And so if you don't have enough protein, it's not able to do that either. So you hear a lot about insulin res resistance, which you know leads to diabetes and other things. And so this could be something you know that is because of overload of carb, but what if it's actually because it's not enough protein? Okay, so think about that. Everybody is different. We all require different levels of carbs, fats, and proteins, but something to really consider um, if you're struggling with that at all. And then also, um, just on a personal note, when I started increasing my protein a couple years ago to make sure I was getting 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of weight, I re recognized something that I did not think was even possible. So. This is like maybe TMI, but I'll just say real quick, after having Taylor, um, one of my PMS symptoms I had never had before was breast tenderness. And I thought, well, this is just what happens after you have a baby, your boobs get sore around the period of time. And ever since I increased my um, protein level, I have not had that symptom, which is really interesting because of course hormones are flooding through your body. There's lots of things going on with hormones at that time. Um, but it was really nice to see, and honestly, it was surprising to see that that 
with something that had changed. I was not expecting that to change at all. So basically these hormones, and there's many hormones throughout your body, and that is what talks to your cells and tells them what to do in essence. It brings things together. So having enough protein will just help your body to function properly and optimally. So the last reason, um, which is now actually number four, of why you should increase your protein um, and make, just make sure you're getting enough protein, the optimal amount of protein, is because it actually boosts your immunity. So it does this by actually creating antibodies. So an antibody is a protein. So if your body isn't consuming enough protein, it can't actually make the antibodies. And the antibodies is what fights any disease. And then once you have came into contact with any sort of uh, disease or virus or bacteria, your body creates this antibody. And then in the future when um, it sees that invader again, then it can actually fight it. And so that actually boosts your immunity. That is what immunity is, is when your body has enough antibodies to fight off particular conditions. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to get more protein into your diet and why it's important to get protein in your diet. If you have other reasons why, please leave them in the comments below because I would love to know what you think also. And also, if you've had experience by increasing or decreasing your protein, if you've had any personal experience with that, I would love to hear about it. And I'm going to leave some links below about um, an overview of protein. There's actually many other roles that protein plays, and so it's really important that you learn about that. You know, each macronutrient has a function, a very vital function in our bodies. And protein is one that is very important. And actually, the word protein comes from the Greek word proteos, or proteos, and that means first place. Very important. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like content like this and leave me a comment below and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and please go do something good for yourself. Whatever it is, run, a walk, the gym, a massage, uh, say no to somebody today. <laughs> Have a great day guys. Bye. So I was just checking out my quarantine hair. What do you think? I haven't had my hair done in six, 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 only seven months I think. I mean, piece two months, I haven't been able to, and I actually postponed my last appointment because I go like every three or four months. Um, but I wonder, what do you think it looks like? I might actually just kind of let this part grow out and just kind of let it go. Look what this quarantine does to us. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to show you my hair.